How is it going guys? Thanks a lot for joining me for another beer mail video. Um, yeah, I got a message from my uh, buddy Steve, the king of beer mails, a uh, couple weeks back. And uh, he said he had a bunch of extra beers to uh, send over my way. Um, his cellar was getting pretty full and he was supposed to get rid of it all, I guess. Make room for more new beers and stuff, you know. So I told him, you know what, uh, I'll send you some money. Uh, ship them over here and uh, that's what he did they arrived uh, last week late last week but um, a couple of the uh, packages were uh, taken um, or left behind or something during transit and uh, they only came in um, but the uh, other uh, eight boxes that came in came in uh, Friday or Thursday yeah Thursday but um yeah Enough rambling, let's see what he sent me. Tons of beers from uh, Twin Sales, first off. Um, he sent me a uh, four pack of their High Sox Mosaic IPA. And then uh, an entire flight of the uh, Two Straws, 24 cans of the Two Straws Milkshake Mango and Pineapple IPA. Really enjoying those. All my buddies really dig it. Um, we've been having a heck of a time. I think I've drank like eight already, something like that. Seven or eight. <laughs> yeah, great, great brew. Goes down super smooth. And then we've got a another four pack of high socks there. And then a four pack of the uh, hot take zero IBU IPA. And a uh, four pack of the uh, Breadwinner um, Multi Grain IPA. Both really nice. I've had one or two of those. And then uh, we've got the Tone Deaf uh, Blood Double IPA with Blood Orange. Um, then he sent me four cans of the uh, Juice Plus Citra IPA, but I drank the other two um, this weekend. Then here's some more uh, two straws, oh, two straws, another can. So I guess I've drank seven now. Um, and then uh, Slam Dank IPA with Mosaic, Columbus, and Apollo hops. Just one of those. Then a few cans of uh, Big Boy Pants. I've already had a couple of those as well. Uh, it's a double IPA. I don't know what they're using in that one, but uh. Then uh, Lush Crush Pale Ale had a couple of these as well, broke up the four pack. But um, yeah, 3.8% um, IPA, uh, brewed with tons of malted oats. So really, really good. Really digging that one. It's a uh, um, fan favorite here in uh, Alberta right now, amongst my buddies anyhow. And then he sent me a couple IPAs from Fuggles and Warlocks. Um, yeah, the uh, Super Bit IPA, and then the uh, Super Smash Brewers IPA, uh, co collab with, I think, Doan's Craft Brewery, out in uh, um, BC, somewhere there. And then he sent me some Quebec brews. Uh, first off, uh, from uh, Vox Populi, uh, a few beers, um, Anna Triple, New World Triple. Um, really nice can art. Wow. Um, then uh, their Kettle Sour Berliner Weiss. Then the uh, Double Fruit Punch IPA. That should be delicious. And a uh, couple cans of the uh, Vox Pop IPA, which is uh, this one's a Simcoe. Um, single hopped IPA and he sent me their Citra 2 I believe so those should be pretty tasty as well. Alright uh, moving on from hoppy beers uh, gonna be drinking those right away but uh, he sent me a bunch of extra stuff that I think I'm gonna sell her for the mo most part. Um, yeah let's uh, see what he sent. A um, bunch of uh, cans of Domesticated Sour Wild IPA from Yellow Dog. I've had a few of these already and really enjoyed it. Um, I love Yellow Dog's beers in general. Really dig them. Just a fantastic brewery. Um, can brew almost any style, you know, like awesome, awesome stuff. 
But uh, yeah, then some more twin sails, a uh, couple four packs of the uh, straight flexion flexin, uh, Imperial Stout, I think 11% or something, so those are going to be fun to uh, drink out. And then, uh, oh yeah, by the way, Steve, if you're watching, I uh, found a, another bottle of Coco Vesa to send you if you want it, but uh, yeah. I digress. Um, then a, another can of Space Armadillo Double IPA with Sac Trois. I uh, reviewed it a while back uh, when he sent me my first uh, um, Twin Sails shipment there. But I figured I'd give this one some age, uh, see what it's like in a year, maybe two, you know. Um, yeah. Then we have got a beer from, I believe, uh, Quebec somewhere uh, from Micro Micro Brasserie du uh, Lac Saint Jean. They're uh, Tante Tricotante, um, some sort of barrel aged uh, strong ale. I think that's what they're calling it. Um, yeah. Then a uh, couple beers from uh, BC here. Steamworks uh, Umaboshi Sour. I believe umabashi plums or something like that he knows I love fruited beers so uh, yeah he sent me a bunch of different stuff uh, yeah then uh, kawaii or kawaii uh, sour ale um, kiwi uh, kiwi sour pretty cool and then we've got a uh, Wild Farmhouse Ale from Lupolo Brewing Company, uh, their Aggressed um, Wild Farmhouse Ale. Yeah. Never heard of this brewery before, so excited to try out a new brewery, you know. And then we've got a uh, couple beers here from uh, Port Moody. Oh yeah, I have a uh, can of their... Um, huge citrus um, IPA in the uh, fridge upstairs, but um, yeah. Moody Ales Bourbon Barrel Age Russian Imperial Stout. Then the uh, Moody Ales Smoldering Smoked Porter. And we've got a uh, Foamer's Folly Winter Spice Ale. Then uh, Reina de Fuego from uh, Dead Frog. A uh, Mexican chocolate porter. Then we've got uh, um, Category 12's Belgian Golden Strong Ale, part of their barrel holder series, uh, aged in uh, red wine oak barrels. Pretty cool. Then uh, Steamworks uh, and uh, Dagerguard's, uh, Dagerad's collaboration, East of East Van. A uh, saison with uh, black lime and white pepper. Pretty cool. That sounds really nice. And then we have got a beer from Lighthouse. Uh, their uh, Heritage Ale, 150 uh, year celebration. Um, then, uh, oh, here's the uh, other uh, Vox Pop um, IPA the uh, um, Citra one. Then an American Farmhouse IPA from uh, Powell's, Powell Brewery and uh, um, Four Winds. Then a, another Four Winds collab. This one's with uh, um, Fieldhouse Brewing Company. This is a, uh, what is it? The Wild Marmalade Farmhouse Ale. Then we've got a, another one from Fuggles and Warlocks, the uh, Ray uh, Boysenberry Sour. I believe I've had this one before. Don't think I reviewed it though. So, uh, yeah. Then uh, Forwin's Nectaris. I absolutely adore this beer. Uh, one of the best sours I've had. Um, just amazing, amazing beer. Beautiful hoppy characteristics. Super excited to try this one out again. Then a beer from uh, Fair State Brewing um, out of Washington, I believe they're from. Oh, uh, Minneapolis. Cool. Uh, they're Hefeweizen. 
Then a uh, hard root beer. Hires a uh, hard root beer. <laughs> Might have to crack that one later. Uh, then Alameda's Love Squirts uh, Chocolate Raspberry Milk Stout. Looking forward to that. Then the uh, Green Leaf uh, Raspberry Sour. All right, and on to the beers we got in today. First off, a couple Bud Lime Limeritas. Rad, rad. Um, should enjoy those. Then a uh, couple more beers from Superflux, uh, Color and Shape, which I've had before and absolutely loved. And then uh, Easy Tiger, which is a uh, Session IPA. Then we've got a uh, few beers from uh, Yellow Dog here. A couple collabs. Where's the other one? Um, ah, here we go. Uh, this one's in collaboration with uh, Breakside Brewery in Portland, Oregon. The uh, Pomo PDX Brett IPA. Then we've got uh, their High Five Hazy IPA. I don't know if I've had this one, but I think I might have. I don't know. And then uh, Brewer's Row collab between uh, Yellow Dog, Moody, Twin Sails, and Parkside. The uh, Hazy Pale with uh, passion fruit and guava. That sounds absolutely delicious. Then we've got uh, Quay Quayside uh, from Steel and Oak, a, a pale ale with guava and sac -tois. Then we've got Coast Mountain Brewing's uh, Tree Line Lager. All right. And then a few beers from, what's this brewery? Uh, Red Truck, I think they're called. Yeah, Red Truck Beer via Golden Ale. Then the uh, Blackberry Bourbon Ale. And the uh, Saison. Then we've got a couple beers from East Coast Canada, uh, from Soda City, the uh, Juicin New England Style IPA. And uh, Obnoxious Hipster Lager, uh, Barrel Age Continental Lager, 5.5% um, alcohol by volume. Hmm, weird labeling to this one, corked and caged and everything. Uh, never had a uh, corked and caged lager before, so that should be good. And then a couple more. Oh, here's a, another one from Red Truck, the uh, White ISA. And then a couple beers from a brewery I've heard lots of good stuff about. Uh, Half Hours on Earth, the uh, White Dwarf Tart Farmhouse Wit Beer with chamomile and sweet orange peel. And then the uh, Razzy Star... Tart Farmhouse Wheat Ale with Raspberries and Orange Peel. Then we've got a uh, couple beers here from uh, The Alchemist in uh, Vermont. Really excited for these. Uh, he got a bunch in from a, a trade and figured he'd send one out to me and my buddy Lee. Um, we're all f trading buddies and uh, we can't get these. So, yeah, both or this one's on both of our bucket lists, so he gave us a can. Heady Topper, the one, the only, and then their luscious British Imperial Stout. So I will be enjoying those this weekend. Can't wait for them. Few beers from uh, Parallel 49, Rye the Long Face Imperial Rye IPA. I had this one uh, a couple of years ago in BC and really enjoyed it. Um, yeah. I think that was my Anglemont trip, something like that, but uh, yeah. Then the uh, Mystic Skull number five, a chocolate mole dark cerveza. Pretty cool. Then they're surrounded by idiots, uh, bumbleberry sour, rad, nice. Then we've got a couple beers from Hearthstone. Uh, another nice little brewery in uh, BC area there, Vancouver. Um, the Atlantic Pale Ale. 
and the tiny little tart golden sour really like that labeling that is awesome I dig it and we've got another beer from Steamworks the uh, salted chocolate porter that sounds absolutely awesome I love uh, salted dark beers of any sort are just phenomenal in my opinion at least um, yeah um, then we've got oh really excited for this one I had their uh, Founders KBS. I had their uh, breakfast stout a uh, while back and really liked it. And he got hold of some KBS and uh, sent me one. Awesome, awesome stuff. Thanks a lot, dude. Then we've got one. Uh, he sent this one to me last time, actually, and I didn't do a review of it because I was way too uh, wasted to uh, handle a camera when I drank it. So I. Uh, didn't end up reviewing it, but this is Vexilum Imperial IPA from Four Winds. I'm very excited to actually taste this one um, while sober. <laughs> and then a beer from Driftwood Brewery, the 20 pounder double IPA. Really excited to try that one again as well. And then a few more beers from uh, Twin Sales here. Oh, and uh, a couple from Parkside, uh, the Open June 8-ish, a uh, Tropical Milkshake ISA, what's this one with? Mangoes Lactose, nice, tons of oats by the looks of it, really digging that labeling, that looks phenomenal. But uh, then we've got the Graffiti IPA from Parkside as well, Pork, Port Moody. I think they're on Brewer's Row as well. Um, yeah, awesome stuff. Then we've got another straight Flexen. Sweet. And then, really excited for this one, Blueberry Yum Yum, which is a blueberry wheat ale with acidulated malts, pretty sure. Uh, lactose as well. Sweet. Sweet. Then, uh, Cool Koala, double IPA. Yeah, I think this is just a straight-up double IPA, uh, New England style, pretty sure. Then Disco Nap double IPA. Excuse me. Then the, uh, what's this one called? Vaporwave IPA. Sweet. That's strange labeling. <laughs> And then, uh, last but not least, one I'm super excited to try out, heard some great stuff, but uh, this is uh, Cash Only Triple IPA. Friggin' A. Sweet, sweet, sweet. 10.3% alcohol by volume. That should be a beast. But uh, yeah, thanks a lot to sending these out to me, uh, Steve. Uh, it's gonna take me a while to drink all of these. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get to the uh, hoppy beers right away. And um, yeah, uh, gonna try to send you out some beers later uh, um, this month, I guess. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. Let me know which uh, beers of these you want see want to see reviews from right away, and I can do that for you. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think of any of these beers if you've had them. Thanks for watching. Cheers.